signs in the sun, moon, and stars. The Wedding Betrothal, Ancient Israelite Wedding Customs. We're back, exploring more details, and I found some nuggets of truth in the scriptures that prove out what we are seeing as signs in the heavens. Let's dig deeper. Here I am, the book of Esther, chapter 2. We're going to scroll down. And where did I find this verse? Give me one second. Okay, so here we are in verse 12. Now when every maid's turn was come to go in to King Ahasuerus, after that she had been twelve months, according to the manner of the women. For so were the days of their purifications accomplished, to wit, Six months with oil of myrrh, six months with sweet odors, and with other things for the purifying of the women. Thus, or then, thus came every maiden unto the king. So, let's look at Stellarium. And see what we find. We're here at the beginning of the day, 2019, December 25th. What do we see? In the heavens for our signs. The first thing, last year when I was looking at these signs and getting excited, this to me was the escape of the bride. And until I found this code about the betrothal, I was 100% sure. Literally was going crazy for the entire month before this sign came because this happened uh, in Hanukkah. And if you know anything about these signs I'm about to show you, it's very, very exciting. So let's dig deeper. The first thing that we see is the moon in the constellation of Ophiuchus inside of the Hoopa. If any of you have seen the last two videos that I posted and went to the links and watched the videos they're there for your edification to learn more about the ancient wedding ceremony because it's vital absolutely vital to understand the ancient model of the wedding so that we can see what's happening not only in the physical realm but also in the heavenly realm because the stars are going to show us the way so the first thing that we see is that the moon at midnight on the 25th, going into the 25th day in Jerusalem, the moon is just coming out of the hoopa. Mercury has come out of the hoopa. And if you know anything about the Maseroth and Mercury, Mercury is our messenger. So the messenger has come out of the hoopa to announce the bride. And 
And then we see two signs in the constellation of Sagittarius. The most important sign is always going to be the sun and the sun being in the arc or the bow of Sagittarius to me was huge very very huge and when you uh, understand how Jupiter plays a role as the king planet um, Jupiter being on the deck, uh, if you see the bow of Sagittarius, excuse me, let me get this scrolled in so you can see this. If you see this bow as a arc or a boat, a, a bow, a boat, it, it's shaped like a boat, and this arc or boat rides on the golden river this is the golden gate but in the heavens if we scroll back you can see that it is like a river in the heavens and the boat excuse me is right on the river the golden river in the heavens and Jupiter is in a position that if you know anything about uh, ships or boats the captain is in the forward position of the boat on the deck and that's exactly where Jupiter is and if we go watch through the day Let me put a focus on the moon. I'm going to lose all the other um, work that I've been doing. But it's very important for us to see this. Um, let's focus in on the moon. And let's watch the moon on the 25th, 2019. make its approach to the sun here we go and what we have here is a wedding ring eclipse inside of the ark with Jupiter the captain of the ship now what we want to do is look at this as the beginning of the betrothal or the beginning of Esther's year of purification and here's the sign of the wedding or a sign of the betrothal the first sign when uh, we do the research we see that the, the the rings are given and there are usually two rings so let's go six months later And what we find six months later Okay To back up my time here Excuse me while I get this done Scroll in.
and we see something very special we're just going to make the approximate this is also a wedding ring eclipse and it just so happens to be now in the silver gate we saw the December 25th in the golden gate and now we're here on the silver gate and uh, it's a very special spot it's at the foot of Gemini at the club of Orion and at the hand of Ariga very very special spot for this eclipse to be happening we also see Vesta and Mercury very close on this eclipse and uh, for those of you who have been watching my videos on the asteroids, Vesta and Amphitrite are very important in this whole storyline. So what we're seeing here is six months later, after the first wedding ring eclipse, we have another sign six months later. Again, we're going to go back to Esther, and it says, For they had six months with oil of myrrh, and six months with sweet odors. And what we're doing is we're looking for the signs of the scriptures in the heavens, and they are being proven out as you see. And now we go six months later... Again, what do we see? We see another great sign. In America, it will be a total solar eclipse. And the thing that is most important to me is the position of what is happening at this eclipse to me it doesn't get any better when you're talking about a wedding because now the sun and the moon are on the very edge of the hoopa line as if they're coming out of the hoopah together. And we remember last time, at the first sign, the moon and Mercury were the ones coming out of the hoopah. This time, they're coming out together, out of the hoopah. Right at the edge of the Golden Gate. And look who's right behind. Mercury. The messenger.